What is up guys, Amit here and you are watching Electrical Infinity. In this video, I am going to show you a tutorial about a smart robocar 3.0 which I got from a company, Eligu. This car can be controlled using a mobile phone as well as an IR remote control. This car is programmed using Arduino. It has an infrared photoelectric sensor and ultrasonic sensor and with this car you get a 4 motors, 4 DC gear motors as well as it has a 7.4 volts lithium battery. In the box you get an assembly tutorial kit with the help of which you can assemble this car by yourself. In the box you get 2 acrylic chassis, different sensors such as ultrasonic sensor, linear module, a bluetooth model kit and you also get a screwdrivers, batteries and various screws, DC motors and a tires for assembling the car. Without any further delay, I am going to show you the functioning of this car. By tapping your phone on this bluetooth model, you can connect your phone with this car. This car has a 7.4 volts lithium battery and you can turn it on by using a power switch. After turning on the power switch, the power is distributed to this UNO R3 board. The battery also has a battery status indicator on it. After turning on the power, the power is distributed to UNO R3 board and from this UNO R3 board, it go, the power go to the sensor as well as the motors below the acrylic plates. As you can see, there is a one more board named L298N board and with the help of which the motors are powered. To control this car from your mobile phone, download an app from Play Store named Eligu Bluetooth Tool and follow this procedure. Just click on Rocket Control option and click on OK and your car will be connected to your device. You can control this car using mobile phone as well as infrared remote. So as you can see here, these are the controls using your mobile phone. You can move your car left, right, forward or backward using this joypad. By clicking this button at the center, the, your car will be on a standalone mode. On the right side, you have a line tracking mode as well as an obstacle mode. In obstacle mode, whenever there is an obstacle in front of the car, the car moves left, right or just moves backwards as you can see in this video. Whereas in line tracking mode, the car follows a black tape on the floor using a line tracking model below your car surface. The controls on a remote control are pretty simple. You can move back, forward, left or right using this and by pressing hash 2 it goes on a obstacle mode and by pressing hash 1 it goes on a line tracking module. Also the bluetooth connectivity of this car is very strong. And finally, this is how I have assembled this car. Firstly, I attach these 4 motors, 4 DC motors to the acrylic chassis of this car. After that, I attach a L298N board to this acrylic chassis and connected these 4 motors to this board. And this is a line tracking model. This line tracking model is connected to the below surface of this acrylic chassis as you can see here I am connecting it. With the help of screws and a coding of these screws connect your expansion board and a UN R3 board to the another acrylic chassis. After connecting this UNO R3 board, there is an expansion board and connect this expansion board to this UNO R3 board as I am doing here. Connect this Bluetooth model to your expansion board and attach a battery to the top acrylic chassis as I have attached here. This is ultrasonic sensor and is used in obstacle mode. A 
Attach this ultrasonic sensor on the top acrylic chassis and connect this ultrasonic sensor to the uh, servo motor terminal on the expansion board. Connect your L298N board to this uh, UNO R3 board using this two pole cable as I am doing here. After this we have to connect the line tracking model to the expansion board using a 5 pole cable. Later on connect this top acrylic chassis to the second acrylic chassis and attach the tires to your car. It's not yet very simple guys so link for this car is given in the description by try it and thanks for watching this video guys subscribe to my channel electrical infinity thanks for watching.